Well, good morning, everybody, and thank you for being with us today. And I want to, um, before I, I go, go along, I want to share that I am super excited about this week. Uh, tomorrow and Thursday marks um, the 2021 graduating class of, for the Birmingham City High Schools, and I'm super excited for our graduates, um, their parents, and their families. You know, over the past few years, you've heard time and time again about our administration's priority around neighborhood revitalization. I want to remind people that that mindset uh, does not stop at place. Um, it also extends to people, and nothing more important than our youngest generation. And so it's not just about blighted structures and paving roads, it's also about making the necessary investments in our young people and our workforce. That's the heart of the Birmingham Promise, which is our vow to provide continued opportunities to graduating Birmingham students while also rejuvenating our workforce with bright and local talent. That doesn't happen without local buy-in from our partners and our friends who are with us today. That's why today I am very, very, very excited to announce $8 million in corporate gifts to support the Birmingham Promise. This includes the largest private donation to date a $5 million commitment from Vulcan Value Partners, which is a local investment firm located right here in Birmingham. It also includes um, a $1 million gift each from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alabama, as well as $1 million from Protective Life. In addition to that, Alabama Power has committed $1 million for the second consecutive year. Now listen, everybody, each and every one of us, within the sound of my voice, really has a stake in our children's futures. We owe it to them to provide every opportunity possible for their success. That's why I want to personally thank each of our partners that are present today for their commitment, for their passion, and for their resources in investing in, and most importantly, believing in our children. Also believing and in investing in this vision for a brighter Birmingham, and so with that, I want to call Rachel Harmon up, who is the executive director of the Birmingham Promise. Thank you, Mayor, and good morning. I want to just reiterate the mayor's gratitude to each of the companies that are represented here today that have made significant financial investments in the Birmingham Promise and to each of the companies that have invested um, beyond, beyond the gifts that we're announcing today. Um, this is not just about money, it's about futures. Um, we have served nearly 400 students this year through the scholarship work specifically. We've served over 150 students through our apprenticeship program, and each of those students represents a change trajectory. Um, each of those students represents a promise and a brighter future for our city. And we are so excited to be able to invest in those students with the partnership of our corporate community and the partnership of Birmingham City Schools, our local education provider. I'm going to get out of the way and bring to the mic, who will probably be one of the most important speakers today, Justin Williams, who is a student at the University of Alabama studying computer engineering. Justin is really special. He was in our first pilot cohort of the apprenticeship in 2019. He went on to participate in the apprenticeship again, and he's going into his sophomore year in the fall. So, Justin, I'm going to bring you up to talk a little bit about your experience. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mayor Wilfin, and thank you, uh, Rachel. I really appreciate the kind words. Um, so my name is Justin Williams. I am a 2020 graduate of Parker High School, uh, Go Thunder and Hurt. I am currently in my freshman year at uh, University of Alabama, World Tide, obviously. And, um, and thanks to this wonderful initiative uh, spearheaded by Mayor Wilfin and uh, Rachel Harmon, they have provided me the opportunity for many different things. I was able to to participate in not only one, but both of the apprenticeships opportunities that they allowed us. I My first apprenticeship was at Encompass Health, formerly known as Health South, and it was one of the best experiences I've had in a corporate setting to this day. It was very, I was able to learn so much. I was able to basically go throughout the entire country company and learn from everyone. It was one of the most valuable experiences I've ever had in my life. 
I was able also to learn from Fleo, a very small, well, not very small, but a small startup in uh, right here in Birmingham, and it taught me a lot about how companies can improve the lives of their workers and how they can actually truly envelop the people of their community into the company itself. And these opportunities should not be squandered, should not be laughed at, should not be even considered considered to be something that is just here for the time. They are life-changing events. They can drastically alter the events of some of people's trajectory in life. And with both of those opportunities, and now with the scholarship presented by Birmingham Promise Initiative, I am able to go to the University of Alabama and study computer engineering, one of my many uh, interests in this world. And so that really provides me with the ability to not have to worry about the financial drain that I'll be presenting to myself and my family and be able to focus on my work and being able to be the best person I can be. And I can personally say that Mayor Woodfin cares about the kids, cares about the city, and I will personally be voting for him in this upcoming election. <laughs> he has shown not once, not twice, but many times how much dedication he has to this community, has to the city. And in my lifetime, he, I, he has done the most from any mayor I've seen in a very long time. And just having this scholarship is, and these opportunities are one of the major things that I really, I really appreciate from this program. And I really want to uh, continue to develop from. And so I would like to thank Mayor Woodfin, thank the city, Birmingham City Council and other individuals and companies that are providing these opportunities to me and other students in Birmingham City Schools. By investing in the Birmingham Promise, they're helping to open doors for all of us and hopefully getting us in a position one day to provide the same kind of leg up for students in the area. And that is one of the best gifts that they could ever give any of us. I'd like to thank them from the bottom of my heart, not only for me, but for every student they have touched to the hundreds and to the thousands that they will touch. Thank you. Well, good morning. Uh, I am Coco Mackin with Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama, and it's very hard to follow Justin. And, and by the way, roll tie, Justin. <laughs> On behalf of our company and our CEO, Tim Vines, we're just honored to join with Mayor Woodfin, the city of Birmingham, and all of the corporate partners here today to support the Birmingham Promise. Uh, we see this just benefiting so many high school students and the Birmingham city schools. One of our corporate values at Blue Cross is giving back to the community, and we do that by investing in the health, education, and the well-being of Alabamians. And a big part of that is we're trying to do all we can to build stronger communities and healthier communities. And we saw the Birmingham Promise as a perfect fit for this vision. And I must say, we also see the Birmingham Promise as just a huge opportunity for high school students such as Justin to be able to really accomplish their dreams, uh, to just become a great success in life. And we also see that by providing these career and college opportunities, these students will also make Birmingham stronger, that is the workforce, the economy, and also the surrounding communities. So. We just greatly appreciate being a part of uh, this collaboration among the mayor, the city, the Birmingham City Schools, uh, Rachel and her team, as well as the corporate partners here today. And we just look forward to seeing all of the great uh, outcomes from this initiative. And we see that the future is very bright for Birmingham because of programs like Birmingham Promise. So thank you. Good morning. I'm proud to be here today standing alongside so many dedicated partners who are committed to your vision, Mayor Woodfin. Um, I'm Scott Adams, Executive Vice President of Corporate Responsibility, Strategy, and Innovation at Protective. Um, I'm honored to be filling in today for Rich Bielan, Protective CEO. If you know anything about Rich, 
and about protective, we get pretty excited when we talk about education and an initiative like Birmingham Promise. We firmly believe in the power of education and its ability to provide equitable and accessible opportunities. And Birmingham Promise is indeed a transformative initiative, and we are confident in the ability to develop the next generation of leaders like Justin um, who will help shape and move our region forward. At Protective, we know how important it is to have thriving communities, and we are committed to making a positive impact in Birmingham, which, we, which has been our home for more than a century. Um, we've already been fortunate enough to have Birmingham Promise apprentices working with us, and we've seen firsthand how committed these students are. We also hope that they've enjoyed and benefited from experiences that support their career paths while also meeting others and developing relationships that show them Birmingham is a great place to build a lifelong career. Today, we're proud to further that commitment by supporting Birmingham Promise through this financial investment. And it's an honor to collaborate with so many other organizations on a community-wide initiative like this. Thanks to everyone for playing a part, and especially Mayor Woodfin, for his vision to create a brighter future for our students and our city. And with that, I'll turn it over to C.T. Fitzpatrick. Thanks. Thank you, Scott, and thank you for uh, your, your company's generosity uh, in helping uh, this wonderful program. Uh, it's a, a real uh, pleasure and a real honor for me to be uh, amongst uh, such great leadership. And uh, speaking of leadership, I have to uh, commend uh, our mayor, uh, Mayor Woodfin. Um, he it shared this vision with us, and we evaluated it as we do many, many worthy causes that we're approached with. And this one just really moved the needle for us. Uh, it's not only that we want to do good things and make the community better. We want uh, this investment in our community to, to have a, a very high return and help as many people as possible. And uh, the way that the, the, the entire program is structured with Rachel's leadership, uh, I think the, the mentoring aspect of it is really important. And I think uh, we all have just seen an, ex a, a, an example of return on investment, uh, on return on charitable investment uh, with Justin's comments. So we are humbled to be able to do this. We are grateful to live in this great city, and we're grateful for the leadership, uh, both public and private, working together to make Birmingham an even better place. So thank you. Good morning. I'm Dr. Mark Sullivan, superintendent of Birmingham City Schools. Uh, let me first say thank you to the mayor for his leadership and his vision around the Birmingham Promise. Thank you to our community partners who are here, who are investing in our students. Thank you to Rachel, who uh, leads the Birmingham Promise and does an outstanding job in that. You know, this week, hundreds of our scholars will be graduating from Birmingham City Schools at Bill Harris Arena. And while we are extremely excited about their accomplishments, we're even more excited about what they will do in the future. Many of our scholars, like, like Justin, will pursue university and community college degrees as a result of financial support through the Birmingham Promise. This announcement of additional contributions is a huge investment in the future business and civic leaders of tomorrow. I want to thank you again for your investment in our students, in our scholars, but as the mayor said earlier, this is also an investment in our community. So thank you to our community partners here. Thank you again, Mayor, for your leadership and vision on this. And thank you, Rachel, for your leadership with the promise. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody, so much for, for being with us for this announcement. Uh, uh, we're going to open this up now for media. Um, I know that we've got a few folks on. Uh, I'll start off with uh, the first person who, uh, who I talked to when he got started, Erica. Uh, right with uh, Birmingham Times. Do you have any questions for the mayor, Rachel, Justin, uh, anybody else involved in this? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. Okay, no questions at this time. How about um, uh, Cody Short with WBHM? Uh, that's a great question. For me, personally, the uh, Burning Promise has definitely shown me how many uh, different things that are available to me and not and to many other people here in Birmingham. As a student and someone who's grown up here, you don't really notice all the um, small inner workings of the city as you grow up, or you don't really notice all the uh, 
uh, vast companies that are here and uh, being able to get the word out and tell all these people and all the other students how important that this opportunity is uh, for them to take advantage of it and to just grab onto it and never let go. I think that is the best way for me personally to uh, to make sure that this stays a eventful part of Birmingham's history as a whole. And personally, I will uh, continue to be in the Birmingham area and contribute however I can and however uh, God will allow me to. But that was a great question. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. Uh, Cody, do you have a follow up? Okay, okay, Stephen Quinn with w, uh, uh, WVMA. Uh, Stephen, do you have a question? No, uh, I, I, I do. Um, this is for Mayor Randall Wickfin. Uh, Mayor, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask. Uh, today marks the one-year anniversary of what happened in, in Minneapolis with the death of George Floyd uh, and everything that followed, uh, including here in the city of Birmingham uh, with the, the protests and then the looting that happened. I was wondering if you could reflect on what changes you've seen over the course of the last year in the city, and then also just your thoughts on, on the fact there was never any arrests or charges that, that came to bear on what happened in the city that day. Well, the second part of your question um, or comment, there were actually over 20 arrests that night. Um, I want to say probably closer to 24. And there was a subsequent arrest, but I don't have that number in front of me. Um, related to reflecting on the past year, I think there are many things um, to consider. Um, but in the interest of time and the topic we're on, I'll just give you one. Um, I was able to participate in many, many conversations um, with um, CEOs and other leaders in the community. This conversation um, was not just from activists out in our streets. Um, this conversation made its way to City Hall. Um, it made its way to um, the superintendent's desk and our students in the class in the classroom and online learning. It made its way um, to the corporate um, boardroom and the C-suites. And so all of us, not just in Birmingham, not just in Alabama, not just in the Southeast, but across America, this conversation was pushed. Um, unfortunately, it was pushed with the death and murder of George Floyd. But as I reflect, the conversations I've had with other leaders in this community is peeling back those layers, being sensitive and vulnerable enough to say, as an organization, as a company, as a business, as an organization, how can we be better? What should we be doing? How can we partner with you? How can we be better community partners? And I think since then, uh, we've seen at play, we've seen on display, um, organizations lean in uh, to be better partners in the community. Um, related to race, um, related to investments, um, and related to being more transparent in how they engage and do things. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. We appreciate your phone call, your questions today. And once again, thank you to everybody who took part in this announcement today. Have a great day.